All right, engine's out, as you guys saw, of course, and we've got it down to mill. So everybody likes the engine deconstruction type video. Yeah, it's a lot easier getting the headers and stuff off with it this way. So although it took a little muscle to get it up out of the car, this was by far easier. Uh, so yeah, this all looks really good. I don't really see any sparkly gl glittery stuff. The inside's nice and clean. You know, you guys saw the ports from the, you know, what the E does and it's obviously nice and I'll show you probably better this side maybe. All the uh, valve train up here looks nice. So good, good, good. And uh, my battery's about to die, so I'm gonna shut this off, but we're gonna get these heads off and I'll pop you back on then, see if there's anything unusual going on with the engine. All right, so uh, yeah, all of this stuff out, all looks really nice, nice and clean actually. Uh, <laughs> surprisingly good. So um, the one thing that I've worried about, like I showed you guys before, is this one port here looks kind of, I'm sorry, I just can't get this to light up the right way, but this port here just looks kind of crappy, right? So it's kind of mucky. Whereas like these ports are so nice and clean. The rest of these ports all kind of look like this. But this port, now the valve doesn't look bad. If you get down in there and look at the valve, so it just has me a bit concerned. So when I looked at the spark plugs, most of them are coming out like this boy. So pretty much all of them are looking like this, which isn't bad. Um, I'm not like a super duper stripe reader and all that stuff, but this one here looks different. One of these spark plugs is doing its, come on, its own thing. And it just looks wet and mucky. So I don't know if, uh, since it's all the way up in here, I'm thinking, I don't know. It's just like the, Either maybe that spark plug is always firing or it's leaking. I'm not sorry, spark plug, that injector, uh, or it's not doing what it's supposed to be doing. I don't know what's going on. So you guys let me know if you guys have seen this and it's obviously X, Y, and Z. Mike, do this. I plan on sending these guys all back and having them cleaned and flow tested uh, while I'm at it. It's just kind of weird that that one is, uh, a bit different than all the rest now i do know that some of the tuners will uh add fuel to that one number eight this would be no this is one one three five so yeah so eight over here so maybe they added uh fuel to it maybe that's why it looks but i've just never i've never really noticed one looking completely different than all the others usually they all look kind of gooey like that but i'm not used to running e so anyway just want to show you guys that that one spark plug obviously looking looking a bit odd when compared to the rest of the spark plugs so let me know what you guys think and we'll continue we're going to rip these heads off can you guys see about to pull the head off. I'm annoyed how these washers you can't get to. Like, why do they do that? Why do they make the casting where you can't get to the goddamn washer? It's so annoying. Anyway, here we go. If I have a place to put this, I should get a nice piece of cardboard, but whatever. Whatever. Yep, there's my washers I couldn't get. Yeah, you guys see the head? The head, it looks nice. I mean, nothing unusual here. It actually looks really good, so it'll be easy to clean up. <laughs> they still look like they're relatively clean from when we cleaned them last time. And, uh,. Yeah, we'll just slap these on since they've already got the head springs and seals. I don't see any evidence of leaking or any anything going on. So let me put this down. If you have a gander, it's going to be super dark. No, not too bad, so you guys can see. So uh, this was the one that was kind of goopy looking, but actually, guys, 
Yeah, they pretty much look the same. I don't see the scarring on there, but they look really shiny. Almost no crosshatch, which you usually see crosshatching these guys pretty good. Um, yeah, so maybe my own fault for running too rich, kind of washing it out. Or not changing the oil. Whatever it is, I guarantee it's my fault. <laughs> How about we go with that? So, uh, that's a win. Everything looking like a win here. Better than losing the engine. That was obviously a loss, but uh, at least we get, at least we can salvage some English hard today. So at least we can salvage some of the goodie bits on this guy. Uh, I suspect the camshaft will look good too. So yeah. Okay. Driver side cylinder head. Driver side cylinder head. There's your washer. All right, so yeah, this one looks a lot more uniform. I don't know, can you see? So I think that one injector was stuck open and that's why we were getting the kind of leaky leak kind of thing going on. But yeah, everything over here is all nice and uniform. Get some chow here in a minute or two. But yeah, so this side, you see the cylinders all look pretty uniform. Where this one open, y'all, obviously, it's very, very clean. So that port was really greasy, so I'm thinking that it was just leaking this the injector no no silly seal. So yeah, we'll get those guys sent in, probably buy a new set anyway. Uh I got the fifteen hundreds and I probably only need a thousand. So yeah. It says front. But it's in the back. I wonder if I messed that up. I don't know. Maybe now because that I don't know maybe I did <laughs> what do you guys think did I screw that one up see Bobby's getting spoiled spoiled by the neighbors <laughs> yes well he's a good sheep sometimes we don't, we don't have many sheep to spoil he's a good sheep comma sometimes <laughs> he's a good sheep when you're not the one who owns him that's right. <laughs> are, are you, does that make you like Bob's grandma? Is that kind of yes, like a, right. a grandma? Oh, no, so, yeah, everything looks nice. No funkiness going on. It's pretty much what it looked like when I put it on. You guys see the glitter. The glitter. So here is the underside of the tray, the windage tray, and it actually looks pretty good. There's no obvious boogers up in there. Bob is not helping. You're not helping, Bob. Okay, so I kind of figured it would be one of these back two because I think it was one of these back two. I'm guessing this one since that, that rod bolt looks so mangled right there. Was that my doing? Holy cow. <laughs> But uh, one of these guys was the one that was the one that um, bent, so I figured it'd probably be one of those. And then also the you know that was one that was loading or whatever. But uh, yeah, they nice solid. So you're going down the line. Okay, okay, that's good. And you can hear the end play, which is supposed to have, but it's not supposed to have that. <laughs> so <laughs> so so that's probably. That one feels fine, that one feels fine. Yeah, these guys are good. So it's this guy, which was uh, 246. Number six has decided to leave the house. So yeah, but it didn't, it doesn't look bad. Like usually you'll see like if you really smoke it, um, 
this guy will get hot in this collar uh, and there'll be a, a problem with that um, but yeah maybe we maybe we did a pretty good job of just identifying what was going on and saving it in time that we didn't cause any real major catastrophic damage and uh, who knows maybe I'll no I won't rebuild it I've already spent enough time with this block but uh, but we'll sell it to somebody that will want to and that'll be good for them right Bob right Bob huh Bob knocked over the power steering pump because Bob's an asshole aren't you Bob right huh he doesn't care so uh, anyway yeah back to getting the camshaft out I just want to show you guys that that was what we got going on and we'll pull it apart and take a look and uh, see how bad how bad how bad was it guess who's not any help whatsoever My neighbor's an old small block Chevy guy. Is that gonna show up? And he was like, you can't buy a cam for 150 bucks. And I was like, I'm pretty sure it's 150 bucks. And I looked it up and it was like 140 something bucks, so. LS9 cam, man. Looks pretty good. There's a weird little spot right here on this one, but I'm not I'm not sweating it. Mostly it looks pretty good, so LS9 cam. It'll work. It'll get the job done. So I know this is the funky one. Let's get this guy off. These split rods are kind of cool. They're kind of cool. It's got a lot of cool, a lot of coolness to them. Okay. Oh yeah, it's seen better days but it's not spun so that's interesting maybe it did hold on we'll sort through it maybe that's just the So yeah, here's a rod and no like heat marks. It's a little beat up in there. The shell is, I think it's turned itself into a one piece, one piece bearing. Oh, I don't want to stick that on the ground. It's kind of gross. We'll see if I can show you this bearing, what's, what's happened to it. So this is this is even kind of marred up. You guys can see that. So 
So that's the bearing off of, it would be uh, one through five. So this is five. So here's what we got going on with our bearing. Oh, there we go, it came off. So it was, it was stacked one on top of the other. <laughs> so I'm gonna try and do this with one hand. You have to forgive me. Just a bit. Ah. Oh, now it's on the ground, so that made it easy. Yeah, not not too good. Not too nice. Which means this whole thing is gonna be not too nice. Which, you know, this is probably like a hundred percent me not changing the oil often enough and uh it not getting the lubrication it needed so it'll be interesting since we see that the damage was done here but it also carried over to this journal um are all the bearings kind of trashed is what i'm wondering now uh because you know if it thinned out and it was just beaten up and this just happened to be the one that let go first uh you know this teaches you good lessons like you know change your oil uh, once a mouse is chewed through your oil pressure gauge, take the time to fix it <laughs> so, so you can see what the oil pressure is. Uh, but yeah, I'm not beating myself up too much. It's just a project car and luckily we, we have all these beautiful cars like the Subaru and the Volvo wagon and my 100 year old Dodge to drive instead of uh, the Phoenix. So I'm still rolling in luxury, however. Um, you know, good lesson to yourself uh, in uh, taking care of stuff, right? So, let's. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and pop the rest of them off. Um, no need for you guys to see all that. I'm sure you don't care. You just want to know what happened. So, I would say the oil got contaminated with the gas. Probably contributing factor is uh, that. That injector a little bit making I was always wondering why I had to keep it at like uh, it just went idle around uh, 14 13 5 and above it had a really rough idle so I think that that uh, leaky injector is probably throwing false uh, you know rich kind of showing as rich when it was actually probably fine at most except it's dumping fuel in, in one cylinder uh, and then you know me trying to tune the thing like that not really sure what that did to the rest of the engine how hard a life maybe it was showing it was really rich and when in fact that it was uh really actually lean and we might have got some detonation on top of all that to help that uh failure out so lots of little contributing things would be my guess and uh it, you know who cares we got a new engine and uh it's just car stuff so we we we, we live and we learn we do car stuff and uh, sometimes there's bad things that happen. So you just own it and say like, hey, I fucked up. And uh, you don't have to go pointing fingers on Facebook. Oh my God, this part fell, this is, this is, yeah. Just like, yeah, some shit happened. And I'm playing big boy games with my big boy pants on, doing big boy stuff. So yeah, let's get this stuff out.